For years, this Zen-like aspect of Mahler's music was not understood by some of the world's greatest musicians, conductors and composers included. It seemed to them oversimplified, so bleak, so devoid of harmonic support. But actually, this is the true essence of Mahler in his maturity, not the overblown, overharmonized chorale music or the over-contrapuntal academic fugues, but this stunning quietude and sparseness. This is the musical equivalent of what Zarathustra, Buddha, Bergson, Wagner, Nietzsche called variously the all, the nothing, the elan vital, the cosmic om. What has happened is that Mahler's music, at its greatest and most mature, has become a synthesis of his lifelong conflict between Judaism on the one hand and Christianity on the other, which makes it clear to us why Mahler chose for these final song texts ancient Chinese poetry, which concerns itself with youth, beauty, wine, the brevity of life, and the mystical embrace of death. <laughs> 